How are you doing? In today's episode, I want to share with you how to file an expedite request with USCIS. Friends, welcome to Green Card Guys TV. I'm your host, John Ting, where we practice law in all 50 states of America and worldwide, helping you solve your immigration problem and hopefully even prevent it from happening in the first place so that you can get the legal status that you deserve. Now, let's get straight into it. We've received a lot of questions, similar questions related to uh, you know, my, my petition or my uh, case is pending. Is there any way I can speed it up a little bit? And that really depends on your own factual scenario. So let me share with you, there is actually a webpage on the USCIS website, uscs.gov, that has specific to expedite requests. Now, keep in mind, when USCIS says that they approve or they grant the expedite request, it does not mean that the actual petition or application is approved. Those are two separate things, so don't get mis, uh, misled on that. This is the USCIS website, and we'll have a link down below in the description box for you so you can check it out. So ultimately, you know, how do you actually make that request? Go to the top um, right of your screen right here. It says, need help? Ask Emma. I really recommend you do that because... It's a lot faster doing it that way than calling in. Um, I mean, you could try to call in. I'm not, not here to try to prevent you from doing that. It's usually typically a long wait time unless you can call in the morning of, you know, U.S.-based time zone. So anyway, if you chat with Emma, you know, initially it's like a bot, but eventually a human will actually respond. And what you do there is you provide your reason, you tell them in advance, that you're requesting an expedite request, okay? And you wanna submit a request. Now, typically you can just tell them your reason right there. The question is, do you need a lawyer for this? No, not typically, but you know, if a client has hired us for their case, we do this for them and we talk with our clients say, uh, because clients ask us all the time, like does my situation qualify to get, you know, that application to be expedited? No, usually the answer is no, but you know, for, it's not just about the petition. It also includes a situation for the 765 application or even for the 131 advanced pro 765, as most of you know already is for application for employment authorization, AKA the EAD so that you can work here in the United States. So the most common situation reason for uh, requesting expedite requests or submitting expedite requests based on a 765 is a job loss. So I'm going to share my screen again. So here it is, severe financial loss to a company or a person that needs urgent action, not because the petitioner applicant's failure to timely file the application. Now, of course, unfortunately, the news lately, it's been a lot, thousands of thousands of people have been laid off their job. So that's one example of showing proof. Now, when you initially submit the request, they're not going to ask for proof on the spot. What they do is they take in your reason, they submit it in, maybe about average up to 30 days, they will email you and they'll let you know at that time whether your expedite request for that particular application has been granted or denied or request more evidence. And there have been some times where, for example, we have uh, clients, a family in China, and because of the quarantine over there, and I think many of you know about the unfortunate situation, like the college students uh, died because they just couldn't leave the building. That sounds ridiculous, but just the quarantine itself was a sufficient reason to get the petition rolling to the next step, to get it approved. And also, we were able to submit expat requests with NVC, so that can get moving along. So that was great. But here are a couple more examples. Let me scroll down here. It looks, it appears large enough where you can see on the screen. The next one is emergencies or urgent humanitarian reasons. This seems like a fairly broad, you know, option or reason that you could use because it says in the context of expedited requests, humanitarian reason are those related to human welfare. So that's an example that we were able to use for our clients in China because they literally couldn't leave their house. It was it's, I, I felt really bad for their uh, extreme living condition. So they give examples here. Uh, they include, but not limited to, illness, disability, extreme living condition, and death in the family. Or you need to even obtain medical treatment in a limited amount of time. 
So basically emergency. Now there's a couple more reasons. We won't go into detail there, but nonprofit organization um, that is designated by IRS or a U.S. government interest. Okay, among of other specific agencies or down here below, clear USCIS error. And I'm thinking in that situation is because maybe USCIS denied an application, maybe like a work permit, but then it needs to be reopened or something like that. We haven't had to use that reason. Uh, but anyway, you can see down below, let me share my screen again, that just there's just more information about it related to it. Um, but yeah, you can see in the description box the link that you can go to. And, you know, if you don't have a lawyer already for your case that you've already filed, I would say you don't need a lawyer for this. But, you know, we're on standby. If you have questions that there are way we can just point you in the right direction more than this, you have our number down below. Check it out. And if you got value from this, folks, please uh, submit a review for us, reviewtinglaw.com. And if you didn't know already, we do offer free 15 minutes preliminary discussion. Just see scenario like this. Maybe we can point you in the right direction. Maybe even our CARES team, our team that answers the phone, they may be able to offer you a free guide just in general. It doesn't have to be just about expedite request, but you want to check that out. And also, folks, check it out right here on our website. We have several free guides for you. They ranges from family-based options, employment-based options, maybe uh, self-petition options, uh, survivor uh, visa options, investor, but also our most popular one is this one right here, folks. And it's called Mandamus, Sue for your legal status. You guys know that you deserve legal status. You already pay the government certain fees and they're taking their sweet time. All right, so we need to speed it up. Filing a lawsuit will not guarantee an approval, but it is a way to get your decision or interview much sooner. So consider that. Go to our website, greencardguys.com. And but folks, if you are abroad outside of the United States, you want to reach us, our phone number is also down below. You can contact us using WhatsApp, and it's right there. It's two different numbers. Sorry if there's a little confusion there. But we're happy to help, okay? Until next time, thank you so much, and have a wonderful week.